Okay. We're back again, Facebook Live, uh, twice in one day at Perfection Kennel. We've got Rambo going home, and we wanted to do a little snippet of him going home with his owner. Uh, what just happened that you guys didn't witness is he's been doing great here, but we gave the owner the gun, and he's worried. He started panting, getting real nervous. Um, so he's got some homework to just take him for walks, um, let him see the gun, and uh, let him kind of get rid of that association he's got with that. And that happens sometimes. We have the owners come. If they've hunted over them and the dog's been gun shy, they can definitely show some concerns with the owner about um, the side of the gun. Okay, so you came right up to him that time without the gun. Oh. Safety. Safety. Uh-oh. <laughs> safety on no, and unloaded. <laughs> That's why we always keep our guns unloaded. Yeah, big difference there. It comes up to him every time when he doesn't have the gun. So, um, And remember, these dogs are sensitive learners. So wherever they became afraid, there you go, better. Good. Good, good, good. Check your barrel, babe. Okay. Just a reminder, because we're busy. Gun safety, course. <laughs> Gun safety. All right. Okay, so if you want to hold on to him, I'm going to walk out there and just take the bird out. Sure. What we're going to do is just take him on the bird. This is, if you're hunting for the first time, you're taking this dog home, you're going to go out with him, this is what I would do. You're talking about getting some fall in your place. Yep. I would just go out there and pitch a bird out, take him over to it, and watch it. And you saw, I'm, I'm going to say this, I commend you for seeing the expression change when you had the gun. Sure. But when you see him around the bird, you saw him earlier, how focused and driven he was for the birds over by the, by the kennel. Now we're out here. This is the first time he's been right here in this spot. So we're going to go out there, put a bird out, take him over to it, just let him do what he wants, and I want you to watch the dog. Yep. And we'll make a decision based on what happens there, whether we're going to fire a shot as he chases or shoot at the bird. Sure. Okay? And what's the most important thing about when, when your dog's on point? What are you watching? What are you watching when your dog's on point? Reaction. Yes, you're watching your dog, not the bird. Yep. That's hard for hunters. Sometimes people really want to watch the dog, I mean the bird, fly. And if you've hunted a lot, that's going to be a habit. Yes, he just said that's exactly what he did when he first got here. So you do have to school your behavior a little bit to um, watch that bird, watch the dog instead of watching the birds fly. It's really important. This is good. This is what we want to see. Okay, This is really, really good. Lovely dog. He's going to be fine. And I didn't introduce you on Facebook. Tell me your full name. Uh, J.D. Good. J.D. Good with Rambo. He's ready to go hunting. I think they're going to go hunting tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> Maybe tonight. Great. <laughs> Great. He's close. Iowa. So fantastic. All right. Turn him loose. Go ahead and turn him loose. Oh, boy. Now, remember I was saying to you earlier, J.D., about how they don't point real good on a check cord? Yep. You'll see a difference here, okay, because he's loose. Whenever you're holding a dog, they're not going to point good on a check cord. Um, they want to pull against it. They want to drive into the bird. They always point better off of a check cord. But your average dog, we don't like him to catch birds. And there's that point, okay? Very, very nice. Now, um, J.D. did ask earlier about... about teaching this dog to stand his birds. With a gun-shy dog, we don't like to do that, at least for one whole season. We like to let him really hunt, drop birds in front of him, figure all this out, and um, super, super important to uh, let him get some real experience. Nice. Good engagement. And never took his eyes off the bird. Fantastic. <laughs> That's a road right there, so. That's not busy, busy road, but it is a road. Good job, Rambo. Now you see how this dog is actively hunting. He's not slowing down. He's not um, going back to the truck or standing by her leg. This is all good. He's doing wonderful. This is Rambo's take home. Boy, Don's batting zero on his birds today. <laughs> I think they've all flown away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Hi, Candace. Hi, Kay. Good morning, guys. Well, see? Look at that. Fantastic. 
There it goes. Nope. That was great. So the bird got up. The dog did not see the bird get up. We're not going to shoot in that circumstance with a dog that's been gun shy. With any dog, really, a young dog, a puppy, any dog that's been through our puppy program, if they do not see the bird, we're not going to shoot it. Um, it's really important to remember that. Oh, there goes another one. He sees that one. Okay, here we go. We're going to walk over there. Sorry, I might have missed the dog flushing that first bird as I was trying to read the screen with questions. There it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's chasing strong. Hit the ditch there. Oh, now he's going to get into a whole bunch of birds. Oh. Okay, so just bounced right off the fence. That happens. Something to be aware of with your gun-shy dogs. Um, make sure that it didn't affect them terribly when they hit the fence. So again, for those of you just tuning in, this is Rambo's take home. He's going home today. He was here for gun shy fix for a month and that uh, was terribly, terribly gun shy. And he has done an amazing turnaround. One of the fastest turnarounds we've seen and one of the strongest turnarounds. Um, super, super nice dog. And we're giving JD his instructions. Uh, no breaking for the first year. Let him find birds, chase, bump. Um, good boy. We don't want to put any restrictions on this dog this first season of hunting. And of course, one gun only when he goes out. Uh, one shot at a time when he goes out. Um, eventually we'll start adding a second shot in when he shows a ton of confidence. Um, but we're not going to do that for a while. And and uh, you have to think to give up one, one season of just having an unbroke pup chasing birds and one gunner at a time is well worth it to have a great hunting partner that you can have for the next 14 years. Um, okay, here he goes. Nice, nice engagement. John was actually going to drop that bird right over the top of him, but uh, the owner was in the way. <laughs> so uh, we don't want to do that. There goes another bird. Uh oh. We're going to go gather him up because there is a road right there. It's not heavily traveled road, but don't want to take a chance. Hey, you can see John run on Perfection Kennel Facebook Live. <laughs> couldn't do that a year ago. <laughs> Knee replacement. He couldn't do that a year ago. That was fast, too. <laughs> that was fast. Dear Lord. Okay. So we've shot multiple times over this dog now out here. This is a new place. One of the things that we do with these gunshy dogs is we take them to several different places before we send them home. And you can see um, his enthusiasm hasn't changed. If we were to take him to a new place and he was worried, um, we wouldn't shoot. Okay, you could see that one bird got up and we didn't shoot because he didn't see it. Super, super important the way that you handle a gunshy dog. And as, as an owner of the gunshy dog, when you take them home, it's very, very important to follow the sheet that we send with them. And if you guys want me to post that, I'd be happy to. Um, it just tells how we handle each situation with a gun-shy dog and the do's and don'ts. Um, and it's really valuable. If you can follow that sheet, you'll have a dog that you can hunt with for many, many years to come. We're going to put him on point here. If you guys have any questions, let us know. This is just going real smooth. Everything's fine. Okay, so again, you saw the difference in this point on a check cord as opposed to um, being held or as opposed to being loose. And that's normal. Dogs don't point beautiful on check cords because they're being held. There you go. Beautiful. Wait for him to get the retrieve. He just went past it a little. There we go. Oh boy. Now he'll do his victory lap. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, again, we don't put a lot of rules on gunshy dogs, so we're okay with his victory lap. We're not going to be pushing buttons right here. Um, 
there'll come a time when we do get a little strict on that here. We're using it with a very low level of stimulation right now. And uh, we're, we're not being too particular about retrieving all the way to hand right now. We'll fix all that stuff later. Right now the important thing is he has a dog he can take, take out and hunt. And, um, and that's the most important thing. Hey, Evan, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your nice comments. Okay. This is a very special dog. They're all special, though. We love them all. Special in a good kind of way. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of people don't get to see what or hear from owners with the way their dog showed up here. They only get to see it at the end. Tell people what you, what you brought us. You guys so, are. we had a situation, and uh, after the afterwards, sight of a gun scared him. New people scared him. Live birds scared him. He wanted nothing to do with with anything a bird dog needs something to do with. Then <laughs> uh, I brought him here, what, November 17th? Mm -hmm. Four and a half, five weeks. So, I mean, it's 180 turnaround. He's exactly what I was hoping for when I got here now. Mm -hmm. and it's crazy. Yeah, oh. he, uh, he wouldn't be just the sight of a gun, tuck his tail, cower away. Uh, a shot, he'd run to the truck, wouldn't leave the truck. Complete opposite of what we've seen right now. So. All right. Well, you have homework now. Yep. So uh, he's doing good. And uh, again, two live shots in one day. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and on a Saturday, no less. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody else is out shopping. <laughs> so, All right. Again, thanks for tuning in. And uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, give it. Send a man, and if you have uh, the inclination to sign up for YouTube, we are going to be having a lot of stuff come up there, and we're going to have a professional help us with that. Oh, boy. Yay. Have a good weekend. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs>